Hi guys, Shocks here and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a little bit of a surprise. I get to play with some new toys I just did the uh, loot unboxing for. Let's have a look. So I found these Wilton cookie cutters and of course I had to go and pick up some Pillsbury sugar cookies. Let's give this a go and see how these guys turn out because this is fun and yummy. So baking cookies today. Here we go. So the instructions on these cookies say to preheat your oven, flour your, um, flour your counter, your rolling surface, squeeze this in half into two different balls, cover it with flour, like dust it with flour and then roll it out and cut your shapes and then bake it for the time it says. So I am going to get this tripod set up and I will show you the rolling out and cookie cutting process. Okay, so there's lots of different instructions on the package. Preheat your oven and get things ready to go. At this point in time, you are also going to need something to take your cookies off the pan with and something to cool them on. So have those things ready. And okay, generously dusted it says. I'm going to take about half. Uh oh, that's messy. Now it says to add about a quarter of a cup of flour when you're going to make cut out cookies with it. So I'll just dust that generously. Dust it generously on top. Cut that aside for the next batch. And it's time to roll it out. Smooth it out a little bit. There we go. I think you're supposed to play with it a little bit to try to make it a little stiffer, but this is getting softer. My hands are too warm. We've got uh, I'm going to fit as many as I can on here and I'm going to fast forward it. So here we go. Ready? Fast cookie making. That worked out pretty well, so I'm going to just, I don't have a cookie sheet, so I'm going to stick these in this pan, and uh, I'll get back to you when I pull some of these out of the oven. There we go, they're baking away. I guess I shouldn't open the oven. In the toaster oven baking. <laughs> so I have the stack of the cutters I've already done there and see what else I can get out of that barrel before I run out of cookie dough. Right, so after I emptied out this little container here, I noticed that Wilton has put a sugar cookies recipe and instructions on the inside band. And I didn't see that before because it was full of cookie cutters. How cool is that? So now I'm going to have to check that out. So you guys, when you're rolling this out, I really highly recommend paying attention to the recommended thickness that they say to roll these out in. I ended up just making a whole bunch of mittens because they're I made it too thin. Oh, got to check on it. So here we are. I think I've got every shape on here um, except the wreath, but the wreath tastes really good. And uh, I'm not sure what this one was supposed to be, 
But there's the tree and an angel and a snowman and a mitten and the present and the ornament, the holly leaf, the reindeer, and the sleigh, and the candy cane. And then I've got a Santa hat, the snowflake, the boy, the girl, the stocking, the star. Oh, this is getting exciting, eh? Um, the bell, the mitten, and another angel. And like I said, I ate the wreath because it was delicious. And I just did mittens with the last of it because it's cold here. So they're the most seasonal thing at the moment. Alright you guys, well thanks so much for hanging out with me while I made this video and checked out these cookie cutters. Um, turns out there is a sugar cookie recipe in the bottom of the container I think I'm going to try next time. But hey, everything was on sale and this has been a fun little project. So go ahead, make some cookies, have some fun, stay warm. I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.